Football fans in England hoping to get their hands on their team's new kit are facing disappointment due to supply problems. The new season kicks off this weekend, but less than half of England's top 92 professional clubs have both home and away kits on sale. The shortages have been blamed on factory shutdowns in Asia due to COVID. Well, Professor Kira Maguire is a lecturer in football finance at the University of Liverpool, and he joins us now. Welcome back to the programme, Kieran. So these delays apparently down to factory shutdowns. Do you think clubs could have planned better for this? I think it would have been very difficult for them to do so. The, the kits are normally designed between nine and 12 months before delivery. What we have seen is that the major producers of football kits, which are based in Asia, in China, in Thailand, in Vietnam, um, they have uh, experienced uh, factory closures uh, as a result of COVID and governments taking cautious approaches with regards to the spread of the disease. And then there have been further issues in respect of the global uh, logistics and, and, and supply chain issues. Uh, Shanghai uh, port, for example, has been extremely busy as, as there's been, uh, uh, unusual demand for a variety of products. And this means that football shirts in particular have, have fallen down the priority list uh, as far as uh, shipping companies and container companies are concerned. So football shirts are usually uh, fairly expensive. How much do shirt sales contribute to a football club's finances? Well, if, if we take a, a look at a club such as Manchester United, it has a 10-year contract to uh, work with Adidas, which is worth just short of $1 billion. So it, it is very lucrative. Uh, the way that it tends to work is that the clubs get a very large flat fee uh, from, from the manufacturers each year. And on top of that, they get a small commission. So Manchester United, for example, have 7%. Um, this means that the clubs, especially the elite clubs, are quite insulated from uh, any downturn in the volume of sales. And, and the real uh, struggle is here will be the kit manufacturers because they've effectively paid in advance to the clubs. And, and they're reliant upon the sales of kits to recoup that money. So how damaging could it be financially for them not to be available now when there has been less money coming in from ticket sales over the summer? Well, uh, yeah, as part of the, the economic squeeze that is being seen in the UK, I, I think uh, football kits are deemed to be discretionary uh, expenditure. But uh, given the, the, the close attachment that many football fans have to their clubs, it, uh, it, it's always surprising to see the level of sales. Any expected drops in, in volumes uh, normally fail to materialise. So I think this will be more of a cash flow issue for clubs because uh, they, they tend to have two peak periods of sales, and, and that's when the kits are launched, which we have seen. And, and the major clubs, the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool and Manchester City and Chelsea, haven't had too many problems with regards to uh, being able to supply. But also uh, in, in the weeks preceding Christmas, they tend to be uh, very popular as presents uh, in, in that, in that uh, time frame. So if, if, the, uh, if the kits don't arrive in the next few weeks, I think it will cause cash flow issues for smaller clubs, which they will hope to recoup later in this year. Well, let's talk about those fans, because for some, buying a new season shirt is a big part of supporting a club. How disappointing will this be for them? Um, it, it, it will be ultimately a minor irritant. Uh, you know, football clubs are now changing two or three of their kits every single year. And it wasn't too far away, wasn't, wasn't too long ago when they're only uh, changing the kits once every two years. I suspect some parents in particular will be heaving a sigh of relief that they won't have to uh, pay for the, the, the significant sum. So a, a, an authentic shirt, which apparently uses the same materials that the players use, um, will, will set you back close on $140, $150. Uh, for the elite teams and and the reductions for children's kits are, are much lower than perhaps you'd anticipate. So um, I think it will be a double-edged sword. Some fans will just be prepared to be patient. I, I think parents in particular will, will heave a sigh of relief. Professor Kieran Maguire from the University of Liverpool, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today.